With the release of Windows 10, Microsoft has included a pretty feature-rich version of Outlook. But up until now, you could only have one tile on your Start menu. Today, we're going to cover on how to create a separate tile for each and every email account you have set up in Outlook. So as you can see, there's the one tile right here for Outlook. So we're going to go ahead and launch Outlook and go in there and do the configuration that we need to do. So we'll click on there, and we find ourselves into the default Outlook account. Now you can switch between accounts just clicking on here and then going back and forth between your accounts and reading a different mail for each account. But if you're like me, you're going to want a tile on the desktop or on the start menu that goes directly to that account. So to do that, uh, if we click on here and we see that we have only have the Outlook account set up right now. We're going to go back into Outlook here and you can configure this by simply going to your menu of your accounts and right clicking on the name of the one you want to use. Uh, you can do it in settings down here, but uh, we're going to go ahead and just right click on that up here and say account settings. And here's where you're going to change that Outlook to read something else. Because if you have a default uh, Outlook account or business, a separate business one or Gmail or whatever, you want to differentiate between those. So let's go ahead and call this Bob at Outlook. So if you go up here and we uh, simply choose a different account up here and then we right click on it here and say settings there we are now you see I've already done this one now so I've got two accounts now I've got one Bob at Outlook and Bob at OC so I'm pretty much uh, pretty much done with uh, making any changes to these so I can go ahead and say pin the start so let's go take a look uh, over here at the other account and we say uh, it's already on start so we can say don't have to say unpin for a start or so I think so we're going to close down the application and we're going to go take a look and bring up the menu and it has not been renamed. So let's go ahead and unpin that from start. We'll go back to the mail application. And we're going to go over here and we're going to say right click on this uh, account here. And it's now available to pin back to the start menu. Okay, so if we go down here, uh, we're going to see that the ones that we had pinned to start are now down here at the bottom separate and named correctly. So now if we just drag them all up to the top, and put them where they need to be and you can do this for as many accounts as you set up on Outlook uh, and you have a direct link to each of your email accounts uh, individually. Now here's a desktop with four accounts set up, two IMAP and two POP3. Now the two IMAPs are showing both the count and the last email whereas the POP3s aren't. But at least you have a tile that you can click on to go directly to that individual account and check those emails that are coming in. So there you have it, separate tiles with separate status so you can see which emails are coming in. Hey, and don't forget to subscribe to Old Guy Geek. Come on back for Windows 8 and Windows 10 and Windows Phone 8 and Windows 10 and general how-to videos all here to help you make the most out of your system.